Hello Tarnished, and welcome, in this video, I will be going over everything for Nefeli's quest line. This is by far, the most convoluted, tedious, and annoying quest of them all. So I hope you are ready. Let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is talk to Roderica, she can be found at the Stormhill Shack in Limgrave just before reaching the Stormvale Castle. Grab the stone sword key. Then talk to Roderica so that she will move to the round table. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? She is important to Nefeli's quest line towards the end and is on the way to the castle. So you might as well talk to her. Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs, or your head. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? It'll be glad of your company, I think. Now rest at the Grace site so that Melina can trap you in dialogue and offer you a Honda Accord. I offer you an Accord. Now go to Stormvale Castle so that we can pay Margit a visit. Also don't forget to summon Roger because why the fuck not? After destroying Margaret, rest at a grace site so that we can talk to Melina. This time she will take you to the round table. Forgive me. I've been testing you. To then we can meet Nefeli's father Gideon, the all-knowing. I will find you. And I will kill you. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. Time to find Nefeli. Have Gostok lower the main gate for you. you you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. F fair enough. Open the gates! Then dodge some arrows. Run for your life. More arrows? Don't forget about Hawks with Blades my favorite. You can find Nefeli in a room just before fighting Godric. Be proud. You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. Don't forget to summon Nefeli for Godric, and give him a good walloping. Oh wow, that was close. And one day, we'll return together. On my very first playthrough I killed Gostok. I don't regret it, but, if you want the ancient stone, he needs to stay alive. He will sell you the stone after completing Nefeli's quest. Go back to the round table and talk to Roderica so that she will move from the fireplace to the same room as the blacksmith. My name is Roderica. I'm still looking for my own purpose. 
This part is very important because if you don't do this, Nefeli will not move to the throne room in Storm Vale Castle to complete the quest line. Why is it tied with Nefeli's quest? Who knows? You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? The girl. What about her? Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. After exhausting all dialogue, rest at the grace site at the round table, and she moves to the next room. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. Now go into the room with the Edge Lord and talk to Nefeli, and she will give you an item, and will tell you that she is leaving the round you table. Again. I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior. Should the fates deign it. We still have a long way to go, since this questline gives you two ancient stones, and gives players the most trouble. You will thank me that I walked you through every step of the way. Trust me. Make your way to Albinoric village, which is south of Lernia Lakes, and you will find Nefeli underneath the bridge. Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. This place is very dark, so I suggest you bring a lantern, or a torch. But let's be honest, who uses a torch anyway? Time to go beast mode and eradicate the omen killer boss, which you can find across the bridge. Don't forget to summon Xeno warrior princess, and one of your ashes. Once you've defeated the Omen Killer, make your way back to the round table to talk to Nefeli to get some peace and quiet. Oh shit! Ensha, aka Edgelord attacks you for grabbing the Halig Dream Medallion piece from Elbus. The armor isn't the best, but it's free so you might as well grab it. Go past the blacksmith down the stairs and you will see Nefeli in her feelings. Talk to her. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. Uh, you. What is it? Ah, you've already heard. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. And now we can move on to the next big part of the quest, which is helping Kenny Heights in Limgrave, which you can find right here along the road. Servant to the true order and celebrated repu- Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Young Tarnish, I want you to take the Knight Commander from Stormvale took it. A fool! Kenneth wants you to reclaim Fort Height, which is located southeast of Limgrave, just beyond the Mistwood Forest. You need to kill the knight for Kenneth, so he can reclaim his fort. Don't forget to grab the left Dectus medallion piece. Just go up the ladders and it will be in a chest on top of the fort. Ah, I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now... Here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead, 
It's all yours. Brad. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. I've been meaning to ask, would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future. St enter into my service. Very well, very well indeed. Now go back and massacre the demi-humans because Kenneth thought he could convert them. What an idiot. Ah, you, is it? Ah, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. I'm sorry to have lifted your hope, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood. As things stand, the great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. So get this. You need the other Dectus medallion piece to use the grand old lift, and this will also allow the portal to fight General Raw Dawn. This is officially the worst quest in the game in my opinion. Way too many quests overlap each other, and it's becoming a real pain. But I think we are about halfway now. And now you have the last piece of the Dectus medallion. Next thing we need to do is go to Atlas Plateau and use the Grand Lift of Dectus. This will trigger the portal at the impassable bridge to open, which will allow us access to Redmain Castle. I'm also going to take the time to kill the Draconic Dree Sentinel, since I'm near Lendil capital city. That way I can get the Grace site for when I need to fast travel back. Now that we have this grace sight, let's go check out that Raw Dawn Festival at Redmain Castle. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Redan Festival! Unfortunately, you can't make Raw Dawn die to gravity, so I'm just going to call up the bros, and put Raw Dawn out of his misery. That poor horse his back has had enough. So far, we've helped Rhoda Rika, Nefeli, and Kenneth Height. But we're still not done yet, we need to help Rani the Witch, and Celebus the pompous asshole preceptor, up by Carrier Manor. But we must first defeat the boss Loretta. Hello Loretta.
go to Ronnie's Rise and talk to Ronnie the Witch. This is mandatory for completing Nefeli's questline. Hmm. A tarnished here. Thou must have some business in mind to come all this way. I see. A choice well made. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron. Now go talk to Celebus at his tower to learn about his evil scheme with Nefeli. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. Go to the round table and Rhoda Rika will tell you that the Dung Eater has made an appearance. Now we can start his quest as well. James, are you here for spin? I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being? The pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. Here's the deal, I was not going to put how to get Dung Eater's puppet because of how long this quest line is, but god damn it, I'm too invested now, that I can't half-ass anything at this point. We are already 17 minutes in, and Dung Eater's puppet is one of the best summon ashes in the game right now. Hello? Please? Over here. Could I ask you lend a hand? Raya wants us to help retrieve her necklace from the crab man, Bogart. You can find him at the Boil Prawn Shack nearby. What the hell is wrong with you? You're trying to start us something? Piss off. Before I crack you in half. Ah. That necklace what you're after, is it? You're tarnished too, ain't you? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Marika's tits. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Oh yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. Take this. Make sure you rest near the shack to make Bogart move locations. His next spot will be near Lendil Capital, cooking more delicious crab outside the city walls. Again, is it? Perfect bloody timing, actually. I got crab cooked up fresh. You heard of the Dung Eater? He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. You see him, though. Stay well away. It's time to find the location of Dung Eater's jail cell in Lendil City, and we'll also grab a seed bed curse for the quest. Now let's continue along and take this path to the entrance of the subterranean shunning grounds, which is a fancy name for the sewers of Lendil.
From the Grace site, I will show you where to find Dung Eater's jail cell, so that you can release him to attack Bogart. What a great friend I am. No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. The sewers is a very confusing area, don't worry, I've spent a lot of time down here so I can guide you to Dung Eater's jail cell. If you go back to the round table, you will notice that Dung Eater has left his room. You will find him lurking around the area next to Blackguard Bogart outside the Lendil city walls. We can take this shortcut right next to the bridge. Oh, never mind. Some more crap, do you? Yeah. And now I've seen it here again. Never thought I would. It was. Yeah. And now I've seen it here again. Never thought I would. What he does to those bodies. That monster. He's lurking round here. Alright, enough stalling, reload the area and you will see that Dung Eater attacked Bogart. That piece of shit. Just let me die. I don't want to live like this. Not anymore. Is it just me, or do I actually feel sorry for Dung Eater? Now that you have given someone the potion, tell Celebis about it. Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. In order for Celebis to have the option to buy a puppet, you need to pick up at least one Starlight Shard, but you need five total to buy Dung Eater. Here are five easy locations for Starlight Shards. 
The first one can be found in the Weeping Peninsula. The next one is west of Limgrave. The third is in the northern part of Kaelid, near the Bestial Sanctum. Then just head south and grab another one next to the Church of Plague. The fifth and final shard is near the artist shack west of Lernia Lakes. What's that? You want another puppet? Quite the keen paramour, aren't we? You're proving to be quite the puppeteer. All right, it's time to wake the fuck up, samurai. Go to the four belfries west of Lernia Lakes. Get the imbute key here at the altar. Then use it this portal just down the hill. The main reason why we came here is because there is a quest item that we need to get for Nefeli. Follow this path up the stairs outside the church and grab the Stormhawk King Ashes, then go inside the church on the second floor to get a summon ashes called Stormhawk Dean. Now go back to the round table and give the Stormhawk King ashes to Nefeli. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. So you know already, do you? My... Father has always given me his guidance. And now... Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Roderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them, still. This ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. We are getting closer to the end of the quest, but we still need to grab the Finger Blade Slayer for Ronnie, go to where the meteor crashed in Mistwood. This is the secret passage to Nokran, Eternal City. Cue the speedrun music. I swear I'm trying to hurry up, but I can't help myself with these edits. It is what it is.
Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Fate steered us to our first encounter. I must thank Torrent too. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. All right time to rest at the castle and then everyone should move to the throne room, right? Huh? But why hasn't Gostok moved? Nefeli is still here. In this hour, it reminds me of... Kenneth too? I must begin my search post for a true and stalwart lord of... It doesn't matter which grace site I rest at. I can't get them to move. WTF mate. There's still one more thing I can try. Graceless tarnished. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. I gotta do now is rest and everybody should move to the throne room. Finally, time to claim our much deserved rewards. Why does it feel like I beat the game though? It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of lady. But I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Ah, nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it. Ah, you, is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust, so I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. I don't know which is longer, this quest, or my video. Don't forget to like, and subscribe for more Elden Ring content. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.